So today we're going to be talking about another bordered sticker collection that hasn't been on my radar for quite some time, but now as I start to dive into it deeper and start to look at it more, there is some huge potential here and also some very crazy stuff that has been going on, uh, I think pretty quietly that a lot of the community has been overlooking. Now, not the people really, really deep in the weeds, not the people who really track the markets well and really um, follow the trends well and are, are actively trading and, you know, um, riding the waves of the big market gains, but a lot of the general community, I think, has been sleeping on these stickers a little bit. So today we're going to be talking about the London sticker set that's in CS2 right now. Uh, again, as borderless stickers continue to flood the market and become very, very oversaturated and become kind of... Um, I don't know, old news, uh, border, bordered stickers are going to continue to go on a crazy run uh, and they're going to continue to look more iconic, more unique and cool uh, and continue to gain uh, community sentiment and favor. Um, so that's why I'm excited to talk about this today. But of course, first, let me plug my cash trading business real quick. If you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items and turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, you should definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Um, I'm looking to buy mostly liquid or at least fairly liquid stuff. Again, the, the, the illiquid market in the West is really decimated right now. I hope things will change in the near future, but for now, we're looking to buy mostly liquid stuff. I got a really big deal done yesterday for some really cool stuff. I bought all of this stuff here. Uh, you can see at the top from one guy. Um, we got a Glock 18 Gamma Doppler, a M9 Bayonet Auto, a uh, Blue Phosphor M4A1S. We got a full set of Krakow 2017 foils from Cloud9, a uh, print stream, a fuel injector, all this. Uh, you know, he sent me this stuff over. He gets a couple thousand dollars in his pocket uh, instantly and, you know, doesn't have to worry about trying to sell all this stuff or getting scammed or having to do all that, that could be you too. Hit me up. We can probably get a deal done uh, and you're helping support me, my channel, my content. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, Bork tweeted out this. He said, London stickers are so good. And here's what some London sticker crafts look like. You can see the Stewie 2K um, London sticker. Um, now, again, they are bordered and they do have a pretty crazy, interesting, weird border, which at certain points, a lot of people, myself included, would have thought they were a little bit ugly. Uh, but again, as I dive more and more into other border stickers and as border list stickers start to become less and less cool, I start to realize and appreciate the old, unique uh, qualities of a lot of these border stickers. And I think London's are some of that. Now, do I think London's are super cool or, or super interesting? No, not necessarily, but I think there's something to them. Uh, and again, I think all of these bordered stickers, really all, most bordered stickers are growing on me over time. Uh, and I do also think that the big crafting update and the increased crafting in the community that we've seen recently is definitely helping this out again with 5x crafts and being able to move crafts around and stuff a lot of these older more unique more iconic stickers uh, are a big thing and they just have personality to them even if you do think london stickers are ugly or whatever um it at least takes you back to a time it at least takes you back to a place um something that borderless stickers can't really do Border stickers have a little bit more personality, a little bit more oomph to them. Uh, and again, as we continue to see more and more borderless stickers um, in the wild and on crafts and everything, border stickers are gonna, going to become cooler. Um, but so many people are tweeting and talking about these London stickers right now. You know, this guy said he agrees and he has this some die young craft. But I think I think this SDY London sticker is so, so, so cool. Um, you know, the Grim Reaper Scythe or whatever in the some die young looks awesome. I think it looks very, very sick. Um, we also had this. This is what initially put this onto my radar um, back at the beginning of June because uh, I hadn't really heard about people talking about London stickers or investing in London stickers or, or that they were starting to do anything or whatever. But again, this is about a month ago. Void uh, tweeted out, why is everyone uh, suddenly so in love with London foils? Anyone care to explain? And again, these are the people that are at the front line of the trends in the market, the people who notice um, when community sentiment is changing and stuff like that. And people, you know, jab.gg or jab.gg, he's one of the um, you know biggest like crafters uh, in the community. He says, I think they look cool, so I craft with them. Uh, this guy says he just likes the stickers. Um, it's going to be the new crack out where they're ugly as fuck. And then people are like, whoa, sauce, those are dope. And that's what's kind of happening. Because, yeah, when I first saw the London stickers, I would have thought they were ugly for sure. Um, but like I said, I am definitely learning to appreciate them. Uh, and as I start to have more and more disdain for borderless stickers, border stickers become cooler. And really, some of these are actually decent. There is definitely certain skins and certain crafts where they can look cool. But also, these are six years old, going on seven years old at this point. These are from 2018. It's now 2024. The volumes, the quantities, the collectability, the rarity of these is there and it makes them such a more interesting investment and collectible that I also think is going to continue to do well over time, especially if Valve does continue to put out borderless stickers. Again, if Shanghai stickers end up being borderless, I really think we're going to see this trend and this run of border stickers continue. Now, is Shanghai going to be borderless? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but as far as these London stickers, uh, I know some people are saying, do you go for the team stickers? Do you go for the autographs? Whatever. But um, I do think there's some very, very cool stickers in here. I don't know that I necessarily love the foils. I think the Hellraiser foil does look pretty cool. Um, I think the team spirit foil looks pretty cool. You know, anything with a drag 
dragon on it. It's going to be really, really cool and iconic. Um, the space soldiers is kind of interesting. Um, we have, uh, I actually like the wind strike foil as like a cheap end option down here. Um, but then when we get into some of the hollows, I think the hollows are sick. We have this north hollow. Um, the hollow effect on this looks very, very, very cool. That blue, I think, looks awesome. I think this mouse esports hollow from the London 2018, as far as the team stickers goes, looks very, very cool as well. Um, it's definitely one I would like to, to keep an eye on. And again, six or seven year old sticker just for 20 bucks. Now, is 20 bucks super cheap? No, but you see Copenhagen stickers going for 20 bucks right now um, that are oversaturated and oversupplied. This is something that is, again, collectible, six, seven years old, low supply. And again, people are starting to like it and people are starting to craft with it more and more. I think the Virtus Pro looks very cool. Again, you have Tai Lu in this set. Um, this liquid, it's definitely ugly, but man, is this thing unique with, um, you know, it's got the USA, the Brazil, the Canada. It's got a lot of different stuff going on there. Like I said, definitely ugly, uh, but it stands out. That is a one of a kind sticker. That is truly something unique there. Um, and again, you have Wind Strike stuff. Again, you have Fnatic on the low end, a $5 hollow from Fnatic, which I do think looks pretty cool. Um, but the big thing here is look at the gains on these things. Look at how these things have been performing. At the end of the day, we can talk about quantities or collectability or um, you know crafting or whatever but hey if we're trying to invest we're trying to make money we got to look at what these things have been doing and you can see for the past year this London hollow from 2018 is just going up this thing has just had solid consistent performance I mean this price uh, there's no like crazy spikes in value this is just throughout the whole last year the whole last 365 days a slight uptick over time and in the past year this thing is up 147 percent who would not love 147 percent obviously that is insane that is market beating returns that is crazy even for cs2 items that is very 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 good um now again we've seen uh you know we have so like a, uh, we have 14 active offers on steam and again these are steam prices so um you're gonna be able to get this thing even a little bit cheaper it's not necessarily gonna cost you 74 dollars um we have sold quantity 11 of these being sold in the last 30 days so obviously there's not insane liquidity for these but they're not like so rare you can't buy them you can't sell them whatever you should actually be able to get your hands on them but it's all the stickers. Again, even this liquid sticker that I do think is pretty ugly. It's pretty crazy, pretty weird. But I would like to own at least one. I think it would be cool. Like I said, it's a unique sticker. This thing has also done well. It's up 40% in the past year. This is just a Team Liquid Hollow. Um, we have the Wind Strike Foil. Again, this is one of the cheaper stickers in the set um, for a team that you know doesn't have a big fan base or anything like that. This thing's up 32% in the past year. Um, we have the Optic Gaming Foil. I believe this is the most expensive foil in the set. Uh, yes, the most expensive foil in the set, the Optic Gaming Foil. Um, this thing is up 49%, almost 50% in the past year. Um, we have the Mouse Esports Hollow. Again, this is one that I said I really, really liked a lot. This is up 70% in the past year. Um, we have the, uh, so then you get into the uh, autographs, which I actually think are very, very, very cool. Obviously, um, we know that Valve current day is starting to get rid of the, you know, designer autographs and stuff like that. So the more iconic, more unique autographs are going to start going away, which is a good sign for the older, more unique autographs. Some of these very, very cool things. And uh, London has a lot of very unique, very iconic iconic um, uh, designer autographs. Again, Some Die Young being one of my favorites. That Some Die Young with the um, scythe looks very, very, very cool in the gold, in the foil, even in the paper, it looks pretty dope. You have the somebody sticker, um, the explosion or spray paint, or I guess it's spray paint. I always thought it was an explosion, but it's a spray paint, whatever going on there. You have the Smooya Devil, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you have the Kenny S, which is just always iconic. Um, down here, here you have the Rops with the palm tree. That looks very cool. Um, you have a ton of awesome. You have Tony Black. You have MOU. Uh, Get Right. That looks really crazy with his signature and stuff. The Stewie 2K one we saw in that craft looks very cool. Um, this one, the DD, actually looks pretty interesting with the crown. Pasha my friend. Um, you have a ton of really, really iconic Tarek. Uh, you have a ton of really iconic sticker uh, autographs in this set as well. And you have a ton of different options. We can see here um, the Some Die Young London foil. Again, this one has a little bit more explosive growth recently. This hasn't been as consistent, um, but this is up 434% in the past year. I looked at another thing as well. This is a Kenny S foil, which is up 48% in the past year. Um, so London's all border stickers are going pretty crazy right now. Border stickers are a trend. Now, again, are we early on in that trend? Are we late in that trend? Are you buying it right now into a trend that's going to continue over the next couple years or are you buying the top? I'm not really sure um, but like I said again, I do think Valve is going to continue to put out borderless sticker sets, which I do think will continue the run and trend on bordered stickers I have been buying border stickers, I am um, hoping to continue to add to those positions, uh, I do think border stickers are going to be a good investment over the next couple years because I think Valve um, is just kind of showing that, hey, with how poorly Rio did and how poorly RMR did and stuff like that, that they don't really want to put out border stickers anymore at this point, I'm sure at some point they will again. 
But for now, border stickers are hot. London stickers are hot. People are loving these things. If you can find the good, unique, interesting stickers that are old and rare and collectible and look decent and have some kind of craftability, those things can be very, very profitable investments over time. And London is just showing that us that once again, uh, as they're hot right now, people are loving them and people are making some money off them as well. Maybe you will. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But pretty much of this video today, guys. Hopefully, catch the next one. Until then, peace.